Hi, welcome to the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. In today's video, it's just really a quick tip uh, in drum programming. It's something that I've done for a long, long time, since late 80s, early 90s. It, I, I didn't invent it. It's an old school trick and it basically can inject a little bit more swing into your beat, gives you a bit more control over the swing, makes your drum beat sound a little bit more natural. I didn't invent it, it's, it's an old school trick, like I said. And what's great about doing it in the MPC is you have absolute control over how the swing sounds and you can change how that sounds in real time, which is what I love about it. Um, but also something else, when you program drum beats and you're taking snare drums, hi-hats, kick drums from different sources, sometimes it can sound a little bit disjointed and you know you want to kind of you want that cohesion you want it to kind of sound like it was recorded in the same space and kind of fit together well most of the time sometimes you actually do want it to sound disjointed if you do want it to sound like it's recorded in the same space and kind of glued together and stuff sometimes you need to add a little bit of ambience and this actually helps in that ambi ambience because what it does is it kind of fills in space and if you're using a sample and there's a little bit of noise in there and stuff, that will also help it. If the space from the sample that you're using, I'll show you what I mean in a second, it fills space and it just kind of makes things, everything sound a little bit more together, I guess. So let's jump in. So as I said, working on a beat this morning, let's have a quick listen. So I'm playing just the beat because um, the technique which I'm going to show you is, is in part of the beat. So that's the beat on its own. If you concentrate on what the hats are doing. Now this technique I'm going to show you, that there's many different ways to get exactly the same effect. You can program it in. If you're a drummer and you're going like, you know, you're hitting the hi-hats at slightly different levels, hitting the hi-hat in a slightly different place, getting a different kind of sound out of it, and that's how you're getting a nice groove going on. Now you can pro you could program that in, adjust the swing, etc. But a way that I like to do it, which I just, for me, just sounds more natural and sounds like uh, the, the beats more glue together, especially if if I've taken hats, snares and kicks from different sources is what I do, let's just pull up, pull up the hats program. So if you go into program edit and now if you listen to the hat, that's the hat I'm using, but the hat is actually just the first sample. Then you've got what sort of sounds like an echo. But the way that I'm doing that is, let's start at page one. So in page one in samples in program edit, that's the sample. Page two is your layering page. So what I've done is I've layered the same hat on two layers. I've taken the level down slightly on the second one, well actually quite a lot, to kind of give it that natural feeling as if you're a drummer and you're kind of dancing on the hi-hat. And then on page three, you have the offset page. So what I've basically done is the first hat is on zero, original hat. The second layer, I've offset it. But what's great is with this, you have a lot more control. Once you've written the hi-hat in, just the single hi-hat going ta 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 Now I have control over how it swings in the beat. So by adjusting this, if I take it right back, now you can't, it just sort of sounds like a single hit. But you can tell by that, you know, I can basically adjust, once I've written it in, I can adjust how it sits in the mix, how it's, how the groove, you know, and like I said, there's many different ways that you can do this in the MPC. But I just like this way because for me, it just kind of sounds natural. And you know, I started out as a drummer when I was, a five, when I was five years old. And for me, it, it just feels more tactile. It kind of feels, I feel like I'm drumming when I do this. 
just more so, which is weird, really, because you'd think that I'd feel more like I was a drummer if I was actually programming it in. But I find that with this, you can get a much more natural feel rather than actually programming it in, believe it or not. Because as a drummer, you're just using your wrist, you know, to play the hi-hat. So that works for me. It's not necessarily going to work for everybody, but it's worth trying it out. But also you can use this technique on snare drums, your kick drums, anything. I've also used it on the shaker in this as well. And it just kind of gives it just a bit more of a groove, you know, for me. And I'll show you what you do when you can change the swing of the hat. See, that just sounds rubbish now. To me, that sounds rubbish anyway. Take it back to about 8,000 and something. See, I'm pushing it even a little bit further now, and now it's really nice and loose. So there you have it, as I said, really, really quick tip. What I actually did with the shaker, which I should have shown you, is I did a similar thing with where I layered it and I offset it slightly. But what I also did is on page, I think it's four of the samples, could possibly be three, no, three is the offset, four, I think it's in four, or it might be in two. Anyway, you can change the panning. So what I had with the shaker, and I like doing this with percussion quite a lot, I do it with uh, shakers and with congas as well, um, is I, I panned the, sh the layer one and layer two slightly different from each other, so it was shifting as well, so the shaker was going shh, 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 kind of like that, and it's just a really simple way to get a bit of movement in your drum beat, and you know, just, just for me, it just I, I feel like I have more control over um, getting the drum beat to sound natural and the percussion to sound natural. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more mixing, mastering and MPC tutorials and reviews. This is the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. Till next time.